Hi everyone. Today we are going to be doing a special uh, video based on some questions that we've been getting about a special Oxford program. I know some of you are familiar with our Ask Us Anything webinars, and we have been getting a lot of questions coming in, so we figured we'd do a special episode today. Today I'm joined by Jared Beck, and Jared is going to tell us about this Oxford program. So Jared, um, if you don't mind getting into it, we've got a lot of questions about this and we'd love for people to know more about it. Yeah, Sabrina, thanks for putting this together. Um, the Oxford program, it's, it's very exciting and it's, it's super timely for what our clients um, and their advisors are experiencing out in the marketplace. Um, and I've, I've put together, I've got some exhibits that I'll go ahead and share um, for the talk today and I'll help people understand what's going on. So what the Oxford program is specifically is an excess insurance solution um, where we leverage special purpose captives and um, other alternative risk transfer concepts and tools to really give insurance buyers relief on their, on their excess program. So let's talk a little bit about that, why that's important. So first off, I mean, for those who don't know, excess insurance, it, it provides higher levels of policy limits and additional financial protection if claims are made that exceed an underlying policy. So you think of it like an umbrella for um, you know, your homeowners or you know, your automobile insurance. So businesses are buying excess insurance uh, over all different types of coverages. So liability, property, automobile, and that's what this strategy addresses. Um, and this is coverage for the unlikely non-frequent big unexpected catastrophic events. Um, so, and the reason why it's timely now is, and we never talked about it before, was excess used to be relatively inexpensive. All of the big premium spend was in the lower limits that were closer to the, the first dollar amounts where the claims would happen more frequently. You didn't have big dollars in the excess layers because, you know, claims were less frequent. Um, and so, you know, carriers just charge less for those policies. But what's happened over time is it got, A, it got so cheap, and then B, more and more judgments started to happen, um, you know, where there were these big verdicts, either automobile losses, uh, class action lawsuits, whatever the case may be. But all of a sudden, you had these big, big losses hitting these insurance companies, and they were charging these low premiums. So now over the past handful of years, premiums have just increased dramatically. Um, and it's, it's very difficult on an insurance buyer's budget. So, um, so again, who we're targeting here and who this really works well for is you know, brokers and their clients who have excess premiums that are increasing. Um, now, you still want to have good claim results, right? If you're one of those you know, guilty culprits who's you know, got really, really bad risk and you, know, you might be paying a million dollars in premium, but you're having you know, $5 million, $10 million in annual losses, you know, this isn't going to fix the problem, but it's really for those insurance buyers who have good risks, haven't had the losses, but are still getting stung by, you know, this difficult insurance market um, and they're having difficulty renewing coverage. So again, that's, that's who this is targeting. Um, and again, we do this using some, you know, some nice alternative risk transfer and captive insurance tools. Specifically, um, we've got an A-rated fronting carrier. So, you know, one of the requirements for most people in their traditional policies is to have an A-rated, um, high credit rating insurance company that's issuing these policies. You have to put that on your certificates of insurance. So we, you know, uh, the designers of this program have, have obtained one of those for this, this program. Then we use reinsurance to protect, um, you know, the, the risk taker from, you know, having these. The thing with excess limits is it's, you know, they're bigger policies, five and $10 million limits. So there's a lot of exposure there. So reinsurance, insurance for insurance companies is a key component of, you know, managing the risk and keeping the, uh, you know, this risk reward trade off at a reasonable level. And then of course, we're leveraging, um, you know, captives and we're using special purpose captives specifically designed to address this issue. So, so here's, here's the structure in a, in a nutshell. Um, Basically, you've got, you know, like any captive arrangement, you've got the operating company who needs to be the insured, them and their certificate holders operating subsidiaries. Um, so that's in our, in our blue circle there. And, you know, just like we talked about, we're paying excess premium to this A-rated fronting carrier. And then in, in exchange, we're getting, you know, policies that, that comply with our, you know, certificate holder requirements. 
But then what, what's happening on the back end now, instead of just paying that comp, you know, the premium to the insurance company being done, we've got a reinsurance arrangement where we're establishing, you know, again, this special purpose captive insurance company and the premiums are being reinsured down to this captive. And then in turn, the, the special purpose captive is providing reinsurance to the fronting carrier. So ultimately the risk is being taken by, you know, this, this, or well, sorry, the policies are being issued by the Oxford A-rated carrier, but the captive is taking the risk. And then ideally losses are cooperating. And then there's a bunch of underwriting profit that's left over at the end of the day. And that goes to the ownership there. Um, who's also, who are also the stakeholders in the operating company. So does that, uh, does that make sense at a, at a base level on the structure piece? Yeah, absolutely. No, I mean, this is, this seems like a great program so far. I think this answers probably a lot of the questions that we've been getting. Um, I'm excited to hear a little bit more. Yeah, you bet. Um, the question we usually get at this point is, well, you, know, you talk about the reinsurance and then, you know, these higher limits. So it does, you know, saving money sounds great, but it does sound or, or feel risky just taking on so much exposure. And that's really where the beauty of this, this program comes in. Um, uh, because again, you know, in the past, if somebody wanted to take on the risk for say $5 million of excess coverage, well, that's a lot of capital or a lot of money they would have to put up, you know, to backstop that limit. But what we have here is what's called a quota share reinsurance arrangement. And what quota share reinsurance is, is basically, you know, you've got a set amount of risk, let's say $5 million. And in the quota share arrangement, we say, all right, well, you know, I'm going to take on or retain a certain percentage of that risk, a certain share. And then the reinsurer, in this case, a reinsurance pool is going to take on the other percentage of that risk. So in the exhibit here, you can, you can see, we kind of look at this structure. And again, you know, we've got a tower here. And so as we go up the tower, we've got, you know, the deductible level. So the insured is still going to have their $50,000, $100,000 deductible or $0 deductible, whatever their, you know, primary policy shows. And then up and above that, they're going to have their primary limits. So typically a $1 million, $2 million policy. And then up in the blue, we get up into the, this is where we quota share the risk between the captive and the, you know, the A-rated reinsurance company. And so... And we typically do the 80-20 quota share where the $1 million, you know, on a $5 million policy limit, we have $1 million that would be retained and paid by the captive. And so suddenly this, you know, maybe ominous $5 million piece of risk that we're taking on suddenly gets, you know, brought down to something that's a little more, you know, a little bit more palatable. You know, if you think about a company that's paying a half million dollars for, you know, their excess policy, you know, if I'm you know, got to pay a half million dollars in premium anyways. Well, you know, now it's only another half million dollars of risk, you know, to potentially get some money back on that, on that premium. That feels much more safe and palatable than taking on a whole, you know, $5 million piece of risk. So, so that's really, you know, that, that's really the, the special sauce here is, is the reinsurance component where we get to lay off a big portion of, um, of that liability. So now there's some expenses naturally associated with that. You're going to pay for the reinsurance and then there's the captive expenses. So, um, you know, it's, it's not, you know, it's not without its costs. And so, you know, you're not going to be able to get all your premium back, but in the event, um, and again, it's very common because, you know, we don't have a lot of losses in these excess layers. If we're doing things right, um, it's very common to go years and years and years with no claims. And so if that happens, what we expect is that the, the uh, you know the captive owner would get anywhere from forty five to fifty percent of their you know of their premiums back in the form of underwriting profit. So you know really nice. Again, you look at the half million dollar premium scenario. That would be a quarter million dollars per year. Um, you know a million dollars over four years does a couple things. One, you're saving a ton of money on your excess program, um, getting rewarded for your good claims experience. And then that can serve as a nice springboard, take that money and then go write other risks. Um, you know, so many of the other, you know, policies and risks we've talked about in our other, uh, you know, AMAs and, and Q&As. So, so that's the, that's the structure in a nutshell. As you can imagine, there's more moving parts and, and components, but, um, you know, really for, you know, um, and the good spaces for this, trucking companies, uh, big property owners, uh, manufacturing companies, 
you know, people with a lot of, you know, liability, a lot of employees, a lot of trucks, you know, things on the road, uh, you know, a lot of exposure where you get that high access premium. Those are really going to be the candidates for this. Um, and, and again, it's just, you know, really nice, really exciting program. Thanks so much for that, Jared. Um, I mean, it does sound like a really great program. I did have a question for you, though. Um, and for everyone that is watching this video, I'm sure they're wondering the same thing. Who, I guess, would um, utilize this program? Who would benefit the most from you to using a program like this? Yeah, so certainly the industries I was, you know, uh, trucking, heavy machinery, property owners, manufacturing companies. Um, I think what you're getting at is, you know, who should contact us, right? Um, and certainly we can work directly with the insureds. Um, but the nice thing about this program is, uh, you know, and really the best way to do it is, you know, we can work with your existing, you know, the existing broker, you know, they know the risk better than anybody. Um, you know, so rather than us trying to, you know, be an intermediary and cobble it all together, you know, it's best to work with, you know, the current advisor, they've got all the data, they know the client better than anybody. And, you know, because it's an A rated policy that, you know, is going to be certified, it still needs to be serviced. You know, that's not really our job. We, you know, we set up the captive, we structure the whole thing, um, you know, so they can get the underwriting profit, but, you know, you still need that insurance advisor, that broker on the front end. Um, so that's, those are really the ideal partners because then, you know, they can handle, you know, the submission components, the service components, the certificate components, and we just help them structure the risk finance on the back end. So that's, that's been the really nice piece is, you know, we can just work with the existing advisors. It doesn't have to be an either or situation. Perfect. That makes sense. I guess then if this program does sound right for somebody, how would they go about contacting um, you? Yeah, certainly coming through the website, uh, you know, riskmgmtadvisors.com. Uh, my email address is jbeck at riskmgmtadvisors.com. Um, or they can call, you know, call the main line and get put in touch with, uh, you know, put in touch with any. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time today, Jared. I hope that you all learned um, a little bit more about this program, this Oxford program. Um, like I said, this was an episode that we didn't want to wait to get out here for everyone to learn. So like Jared said, please reach out to us um, on our website. It's www.riskmgmtadvisors.com. Um, you can go ahead and hit our contact us tab. There's multiple ways you can do that, whether it's by phone, email, um, or even just you know a chat submission. We take those as well.